Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today's video is going to be empties. Now I'm testing out lighting and a microphone. I've got the microphone just kind of propped up. <laughs> this is very unprofessional. Y'all can see my setup. I will show you all my setup sometime. It is so amateur. I got these lamps from Walmart. Everybody has these nice umbrella lights and professional looking stuff. Mine's just crap. <laughs> it's okay. It doesn't matter. Okay, uh, I, I did a video. I haven't uploaded it, but I did a video on uh, are there are is there room for the average person on YouTube? Because everything is such an expert geared uh, format on YouTube now, and uh, I, I may refilm that because I didn't like how it turned out. But anyway, today's is about favorites. So okay, the first are two coffees. Now. Uh, I, you know, it's the time of year to have a little more fall type coffees like pumpkin spice. But I, I heard of one and I found one. I heard of this one. My friend John had told me about it. It's Folgers Caramel Drizzle. I swear it's so good. It is really, really good. And it goes with any kind of good um, creamer you know like sometimes i'll have a coconut creamer or i'll have that italian sweet cream creamer or a vanilla cream. it just goes real well with any kind of creamer that i have tried and going along with that that because i ran out and i was at our food city uh and they i found this one it's just as good it is salted caramel caramel from market and maine same thing, delicious, goes with any kind of flavor that you want. It's delicious plain with just a little cream, no cream, black, however you want it. These are K-Cups and just, just really delicious. Very good. I can recommend both of these coffees very, very highly. Been, been real tickled. It just really got me in the fall mood. I decorate. I wasn't going to even decorate for fall this year. I was just going to kind of go into Christmas. So I told Doug, I said, let's do fall. Let's decorate for fall. And so uh, we did and just, yeah, been really enjoying it. I got out. This is old as can be because I tend not to contour and I tend not to use a, use a highlighter on my cheeks. Well, I got this out from CoverGirl. Let's see. It's the CoverGirl True Blend in Bloom. Bloom Babe. Bloom Babe. Now, I've seen it on Amazon and on CoverGirl, and it looks like it's slightly different, but this is the old formula, or the old makeup of it. It's a peach, and then your highlighter, and then your contour right here. Good price. You get all your things, and I have been contouring some and I don't contour a whole lot especially around my temples because I've got fat cheeks so it tends to make my temples shrink in more so I look you know like a fat fat cheeked I look like a chipmunk <laughs> so I've always had fat cheeks but I tend to look more like a chipmunk so I've been trying to do down here and do down here but uh I, I at first I did it in my temples I thought ooh, that didn't look right but anyway I really this has been a favorite like that the next one is a lip gloss that i have on from milani i wear it over this lipstick that i have been i've mentioned the lipstick in my favorites before it is 550 honey pink 550 from maybelline i've mentioned that before but this lip gloss over it that i have on i really like it it's from milani and it's uh luminoso really really like this lip like this lip gloss over this lipstick so that's definitely been a favorite but now i'm going to talk about some tv things that we have watched or things that i have found on the internet the first one american murder the family next door on netflix it is about the chris watts chris watts case and his wife shanann he killed his wife and his two little girls and his wife was pregnant with their little boy um it is really good. It is sad, very, very sad. But Shanann uh, would, she documented a whole lot. Like on Facebook, she did a lot of lives. She told a lot about her life. There is a lot of information on this that they have pieced together. Uh, the policeman 
when they first came they wore body cams so you get to see exactly what they saw to begin with i think it's the number one rated when last time i checked doug and i checked and when we watched it it was the number one rated show i believe on netflix don't quote me on that but i remember seeing a little blurb about that that it was uh the highest ranking on netflix as of last week uh but it's really good highly recommend it very sad but very very good just i don't know just goes goes to show you what can happen uh the next one is a little more upbeat Lucy Worsley, I think that's how you pronounce her last name. She does a lot of historical things, talking about palaces and customs and everything of the past of Great Britain. Uh, but this one is her, I guess it's her newest one. It's Lucy Worsley's Royal Palace Secrets. But it's the 2020 edition, the coronavirus edition. Uh, she is the chief curator for at uh, Historic Royal Palaces. So uh, she went in with everybody not being able to come in right in the middle of the pandemic. So everything was closed. So she went in and she showed things and let's see, the Tower of London, Kensington Palace, and Hampton Court. She showed hidden things that we never get to see uh, of those places because nobody was there. She went in by herself and she walked all over. Oh, it was wonderful. She got clothing out and showed uh, how what, what they look like and how they would lay things out and showed some of her offices. And it was just, it was just fascinating. You should say, now here's my office in here. Now this is where Anne Boleyn's bedroom was. You know, it was just fascinating because it was eerie because it was closed, I think. And I really enjoyed that, Doug did too. We got a really good behind the scenes look at uh, places that we had uh, visited when we took trips to the UK and just, just got to see behind the scenes. Really enjoyed that a lot. The next one is another UK uh, thing. It is from Duchess Catherine. It is the Hold Still Project where she had people submit pictures of capturing a moment of the quarantine, the pandemic, uh, and expressing, kind of telling a story about it and expressing it. And they took the top 100. They put it on the National po uh, Portrait Gallery. I just, it was so touching. And what you need to do is take some time and look at these pictures and read the stories behind it. Just go one at a time. There's a hundred of them. Take several days if you, can, if you need to and look at the pictures and the stories behind it because it's the stories behind it that really, really get to you. Um, it, it was a wonderful project. I admire that she did this. I think it turned out beautifully and I really got a lot out of it. I think it pa uh, captured this year perfectly. Uh, I would encourage everybody to go look that. Hold still and it's uh, at the npg.org.uk. I will link it below, wonderful. Another one that I'm including that Doug, Doug asked me to, I didn't like it quite as well. He loved it. And it's, uh, especially if you're a Star Wars, Star Wars fan, the uh, Mandalorian. It was, it was good. It was really good. I like Star Wars. I'm not a fanatic, but I like it. You know, I, I can probably take it or leave it, but I do enjoy it. If I, if Doug says he really wants to watch it, and I'll sit down and watch it with me, I'm always entertained. Uh, this was really good. Um, it, I, can't, I couldn't figure out exactly what time in the whole Star Wars saga it took place. I think it was after the Empire fell. I, I'm, just, I'm just not sure, but there's like a little baby Yoda in there that they have to protect. It, it is good. If you're a Star Wars fan, um, you'll, you'll enjoy it. But Doug loved it, so he said to please put that one in there. He highly recommended it. Another thing we did, I don't think I mentioned it on here. It's hard to remember what I mentioned on Instagram and what I've mentioned here because I tend to talk daily on Instagram and, and talk about crap. <laughs> but um, we rented... Uh, there's a privately owned movie theater here. And so what they have done is they have let small groups like families 
that are in a bubble together, rent the movie theater, the people can pitch in and rent it for $100, and they will open up the concession stand. You can either choose one of their movies or you can bring your own DVD. We watched Furry Vengeance, and so each of our family, you know, Doug and I sit in one spot, and my daughter's family sit in another spot, and my son's family sit in another spot, and then her family sit in another spot. So uh, we, it was really nice because they opened up the concession stand and they were wearing masks and had, you know, they were very, very safe. And um, so when we got in, you know, we started wiping down the seats. And so she stood at the door. She said, oh, we wipe those down very thoroughly after each, each session. Every time somebody rents it, we go in and, and wipe down every single seat and sterilize it. So it was just a good thing, I thought, to help. We enjoyed it so much, and it's helping to keep this movie theater open. Uh, so check to see if there might be a movie theater in your area that does something like that. We, we loved it. We, the movie was, oh, it wasn't a great movie, but seeing the kids watch it on the big screen, they had all seen it before, but seeing it on the big screen, it was just like getting, seeing it through their eyes, and it was just so much fun. And you know, we just, we've just been really trying to find fun during this time. We really have, uh, you know, it, it's hard, but it was just so enjoyable to, to feel normal again. I, I got so much joy out of that, feeling normal and going to the movie theater, it was, it, it, did, it did my soul good, it really did. Another one has to do with Instagram. I have joined a group called uh, Her Style Our Way, and it's a group of ladies. Oh, I just love them. What we do is uh, we take a, an Instagram picture, and it comes out at the beginning of the month. The moderators pick out Instagram pictures and send it to us. And then we try to shop our closet and rec recreate that look. And it has been fun. It's been challenging. Uh, sometimes we get close. Sometimes we don't get as close. But it doesn't matter. We're trying to shop our closet and realize the clothes we have and try to make them look as fashionable as we can. And it makes us try to think of putting things together that we already have. I like that. It's called, um, the hashtag is Her Style Our Way and it's on Instagram. So I will do a link to the Her Style Our Way uh, hashtag that we have and you can see some of the pictures. It's just been a lot of fun. That was definitely been a favorite. One last thing, I will put a picture because it's downstairs in the refrigerator. Uh, the Holy Wholesome Pizza Dough. It is gluten-free. Doug is the pizza person and he makes himself his own crust, but he uses this crust because he's he eats gluten and I'm gluten free. This, he found this frozen at the grocery store. It is their frozen pizza dough. You thaw it out and you let it rise and you roll it out like pizza, you know, or you can make, uh, it says you can make flatbread, sweet, sweet roast, stromboli, calzones, anything you want with it. I, it is good. It is good. It really tastes like good old fashioned pizza dough that we always made our own pizza dough and you know had we didn't we didn't do frozen pizzas we always did our own pizza dough and uh, so i missed that when i went gluten free because it was a little bit harder for us to do gluten free pizza and it was time consuming to do his and then to do mine but he said just try this one and i really liked it it's no need to make it from scratch for me anymore this one is great pizza dough you roll it out and do it treat it just like you would regular pizza dough so it is the holy, holy wholesome pizza dough. It was a great month for, for shows. It was a good month for pizza. And it was a good month for coffee. And a good month for blush and uh, highlighting and contouring. So thank you so much for watching this. I sure do appreciate it so much. Everyone have a wonderful weekend. We're having a carport birthday party for one of my granddaughters this weekend and then the other granddaughter next weekend so we got a busy time coming up thank you so much for watching i appreciate it stay safe love you all and take care bye bye